Hello, uh, today we're going to look at Facebook connections. Now, there are three types of Facebook Live. Let's go live to your profile, which is simple and straightforward to do. You've got a profile on Facebook, we can go live to that once you connect it to OneStream Live. Also, on Facebook Live, you have created business pages. Now, there can be multiple business pages and the routine that I'm about to show you is true for all of them and you can go live anytime you like uh, on all your pages if you wish. There is a requirement though for pages. Uh, you need to be admin of the page. You can't go live on somebody else's page unless they make you admin temporarily. And the other thing is that the page itself has to have a hundred followers. Uh, this was introduced in 2024 and uh, is to stop people with less than 100 followers going live. So, those are the criteria for a Facebook business page. The third type is to go live in groups. Now, going live in groups is a different process entirely. I'm gonna walk you through that process it's momentarily, but essentially there is a difference as far as your studio is concerned. You cannot see the comments from a group in your studio because we're using a different way of broadcasting into a group. Now for a group to work, you need to have an admin and you preferably would be an admin. You can't broadcast into somebody else's group. You can broadcast into groups that you started or are an admin of, simple. So with that said, three times of Facebook broadcasts can all be done from your studio it can all be done at the same time so let's take a look at step one which is to actually connect everything up to one stream live so we're going to look at connecting Facebook and let's go we are in the one stream live control center and we're going to have a look at Facebook and Facebook destinations now if we go into social platforms and want to go to add social platforms the button top right hand side that's where we add any social platform no matter where it is so press add social platform and then we get the pop-up which shows that we can add a page we can add a group or we can add a profile now in terms of the sequence of doing this we're going to go profile first so i'm going to click on profile and it tells me that I am there. So I'm going already connected, so I don't need to do anything. Now, if you weren't connected, you just press the connect button and everything will be taken care of. So connecting your profile, step one. Step two is connecting a page. And because our Facebook profile has been looked at, the pages which we can use are down below. These are the pages of which you are an admin two um, things that need to be true one you're an admin of the page or an editor or and that the page has at least 100 followers let me demonstrate that if i go for below tv which has got 22 followers and go connect i'm going to get a message back in a second which is going to say that uh streaming criteria not met and it's just say uh, must be at least 60 days old which it is and have 100 followers it doesn't have 100 followers yet but essentially if we go for the page again all your pages will show there i've got three out of five connected now you just need to be an admin and you need to have 100 people following you on the page okay so it treats the page as being something in its own right it's not dependent on your followers of on your facebook profile it's dependent on the number of followers of the page final facebook option is a group now if i click the group button it's going to ask me for different information so what i can type in here is we're going to go for live I just type the name in properly live video production group okay 
auto detect the URL. So we don't need to know about that, but we need a string key, which is why we're going to go over here to Facebook Live Creator, and it is creatorsfacebook.com tools live, and I'm going to go live on Facebook, but I need a key. So I'm going to press the go live on Facebook button and it thinks about it for a moment and then it says where would you like to go live and it already knows who I am and I want to go to a group so it gives me a list of the groups that I can go to and you can see a lot of groups I'm a member of but you do need to be an admin of the group to, to post there these are groups I'm members of um, so let's go down until we get to live video production. If you see it first, let me know. There it is. Okay. And I want to go live. And it brings me the details in relation to going live in that particular group. And it is going to be by streaming software. It's going to be by one stream live. And then I need to go to advanced settings. And I want a persistent string key. Switch that on. This is the key that we need to go live in the group. Persistent means that if we've got that key anytime we want, we can go live into the live video production group. So I can copy that key now. So I take it from Facebook over to OneStream Live and pop the stream key in and connect. And now if we go down and scroll, this is alphabetic. Then we have the live video production group. It is a Facebook group and is connected. So just to go back to the beginning, it's a social media platform. We connected our profile first, then one of the pages, minimum 100 followers. And then we went to the group and we needed the stream key. So we went to Facebook live producer and got the key. That's it. That's how to connect up the three types of destinations. Okay and thank you for watching so that basically allows us to go live to our personal profile to a facebook page of which we are admin and to a facebook group of which we're admin and there are different ways of doing it and you need to set them up once and then you can reuse them now if you have a facebook destination you'd like to appear on which you don't control then you can always appear on a page by sharing the post. And that's one good reason for scheduling a broadcast. You can actually, when you schedule, that creates a post on Facebook. You can then share that post wherever you like on somebody else's profile with their permission, in somebody else's page with their permission, and in somebody else's group with their permission. And it's always good to actually ask for permission. Just don't want to appear live without being expected. Um, but having set those three up, how do we actually broadcast to them? Let's go to the next stage and I'm going to show another short video. I'll be back. Let's go over to OneStream Live Control Center and we've got the ability to actually create a stream. So we're going to create a stream and it's going to be from the studio and we need a title and broadcasting to Facebook with Stephen and the second bit is what we're doing now which is to broadcast I don't need help from Dashlane at the moment we're going to broadcast to a Facebook profile business page and group you can put your tags in there then you go next and we've now got all our destinations if I click that We'll see all my destinations as they are at the moment. And we're going to go live to Facebook profile, which is my profile. And we'll wait for a second for that to connect in three, two, one ish. Okay, now it does take a little time to actually establish connections. Then we're going to live video production Facebook page. Okay, again, wait for a second or two for that to be readied and then once that's ready we can go for the Facebook group that we set up a few moments ago and there we are that goes straight live because that is RTMP so we've got a Facebook profile 
we've got a Facebook page and we've got a Facebook group. The additional information you require is you can select a thumbnail now and you can go live now or you can schedule for later. And it's as simple and straightforward as that. So I've got my page, I've got my profile, I've got my group. I can go live when I want and as soon as I go live, it will broadcast to those destinations. I will see the comments from the page in my studio. I will not see the comments from my profile or from the group in my studio. That's the way that it's laid out. So that's it. That's how to connect everything up. Now I've shown you how to go live to your Facebook profile showing you how to go live to a Facebook group. Now, of course, you can go live to all your different Facebook pages. There is no problem with that. The one signal, because you can, on one stream live, the beauty of one stream live is that we can go live from the studio to up to 50 destinations, which can be Facebook pages, profiles, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. All can be used if you wish. Um, uh, and to groups. Now you can share into groups, but you, if you've got several groups, then you simply need to take the stream key for each of the groups, add them as a destination within one stream live, and then you can go live to your profile, several different pages and several different groups, all at one and the same time. And it's just a step-by-step -step thing. Once you've done it once, then you know how to do it and uh, you can use those now in terms of going live you can go live just by coming into the studio in the top left of the studio you can actually set up the title and description and all the destinations you're going to you can do that when you're in the studio if you want to do it before you come in the studio then you can do it from the go live in the control center or if you want to schedule yeah, scheduling allows people to arrange to be there at the time you're actually going live. And it's a great way to actually increase your audience because you can promote it. If you get a show card done, uh, the Facebook size 1920 by 1080, uh, then you can promote the show in advance. And the other thing is with scheduling, you actually get to put a photo in there. You put the title, the description, you can have uh, tags in there as well and you can then have the three destinations Facebook profile Facebook page and Facebook groups so you can go live everywhere at the same time and of course this being one stream live the other benefit of one stream live is you don't have to go live yourself you can use a pre-recorded video and you can send that live as a scheduled broadcast whenever you like and you can show you to go live once or twice. Um, you can also put together playlists of your videos. And this is quite handy because you can stack up several different videos and you could go live with the videos playing in turn at any time you want using the scheduling system. And finally, on this side, you can actually coming to your one streaming studio using OBS or vMix or XSplit uh, broadcaster. So there are three ways of actually broadcasting to as many Facebook destinations as you want. Let's just do a recap and look at how to set it up again. And uh, if I go over here and I need to find connecting Facebook. So we're going to go through connecting Facebook again, then I'll be back. We are in the OneStream Live control center and we're going to have a look at Facebook and Facebook destinations. Now, if we go into social platforms and want to go to add social platforms, the button top right hand side, that's where we add any social. Right, that video actually appears, it just occurred to me, that video appears at the, at the beginning of this broadcast. So if you wind back to the beginning you actually built the whole video the video about how to connect in your one stream live control center and then how to set a broadcast to go to the different Facebook destinations thank you for watching this has been Stephen from Wiltshire in England goodbye for now